Is a giant pan better for finding gold? That is a nice little nugget. And I got a target. Out of the way, everybody. Oh my <laughs> Bigger wow. the pan, bigger the gold. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. So I have a little pan here and you're actually not supposed to see this because it's part of another video. But I'm having trouble finishing that video, so sneak peek. My plan for today is to go back to that spot where I found a lot of good gold using Barney, our super duper special purple high banker, and see what I can pull out with uh, Shrek. This'll be fun. So the first thing I noticed with this pan is it's just awkward. Use this to push the bushes out of the way. Yeet! I seem to have lost the pan after I Yeet. yeeted it. Oh, I see it, actually. Hey, ah! Yeet! So this is where I left off. It's kind of hard to tell with the sun and shade because it kind of makes the camera all weird. But as you can see, this is where I dumped all the big boulders again and kind of reclimated the area. So what I'm thinking is continuing up this way. This is where I was gonna continue high banking, but we don't have a high banker today. We have a big super duper pan, so here. So Bailey's gonna help me film today and in between helping me film, he's gonna see if he can find his own gold too. So hopefully he has good luck, but not as much as luck as me because I want to find more gold, right? Yep. No, yep. <laughs> Well, first thing is first. I must remove stupid heavy rocks out of the way so I can begin to shovel the pay gravel into our pan. So I decided I'm not gonna make a big pile of dirt before I pan it because that's boring. I'm just gonna put it in there right now. So the first question is, how many shovels do you put in here before it's too heavy? I know with a regular pan, two or three, maybe four shovels, but this, maybe 10. More. I'm just gonna try that because I don't even know if I can if I can pan. Off the bat, this is actually kind of heavy and it's really sharp, so I gotta be careful I don't cut my legs off with this. It's really important you do not want to be wet because if you get wet out here, it can be very dangerous. You can get hypothermia, so it's important to keep all your clothes really dry. Floats. That's good. Ooh, way too much. <laughs> it's awkward. Come on, baby. Ten ounces. That was only three little scoops, too. Imagine if this thing was full, you're gonna need like two or three people. I'm probably losing a lot of gold already. Like the surface is really smooth, but over time we'll, we'll work it in. Oh, this is heavy. No problem. The reveal on our first test pan off the surface is probably not gonna be anything, but you never know. <laughs> so ridiculous. Come on, just one little piece of gold. We can call it a day. Yep. Oh my god. Yes! One piece of fly poop! Nice! We got one piece of fly poop. Where'd it go? Right there. <laughs> we are rich. It's a success. So it's probably gonna be a lot more efficient using a regular pan, but bigger the pan. better. You gotta find it. There it is. Now that we've proven that this pan works, it means that we can continue to use it and I'm a super genius inventor who didn't receive any help from Kyle whatsoever. Also, Bailey was so jealous of the invention, he decided to leave me alone and find some nuggets with the detector. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> it's way heavier than the last one because I have so much more material in it. This is definitely a two person operation. Oh, I already have a dent in it. I wonder how that happened. Yeet. Come on, get it over with. Oh yes, I see another one. <laughs> this spot is actually really good for gold. That's why I chose this spot and not like a grass field or something. And all the gold that I do lose here, I can come back and snipe it one day. No problem. Okay. Reveal. So if I do a big loop here, circle, might work. <clears throat> It's kind of working. Right. Where'd you go? There. Oh. Where'd you go? Right there. So there you have it. One fly poop and a rock. Okay, now I look more smart. So I've done two pans today already. Burned about 600 calories. We're, we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna work a little bit deeper because obviously the top stuff isn't gonna have a lot of gold. So I'm gonna dig deeper, move more boulders around and hopefully get to the creamy of the cropness and find more gold. So now we're already on the bedrock. It's a good sign that there could be bedrock nearby. And this is typically where I was finding the better gold. So I'm gonna do another scoop in here. Hopefully we'll find more gold. Ugh, it's a heavy one. Out of the way, everybody. We're coming through. Oh, yeah. A little deeper than I thought. It can be a little aggressive, that's okay. Not too aggressive. Two different panning styles. Yeah, yeah exactly. One break. Oh. For those of you wondering, I twisted my wrist in uh, judo. Whoa, whoa. Is that gold? I don't know. We might have just found a picker, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's go a little slower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looked like a flake of gold, but it could have just been not gold. When you find gold. It's a sign that you could find more gold around. Yes. I'll just safety monitor. Yeah, I just monitor my safeties. Third pan down, 2,000 calories burnt. All right, there, you see a flake? A yep. little- Nice oh, piece. Lost it. It's right, it's still right there. Yeah, there's a little piece of gold in there, so that's a good sign that there could be more around. Reveal. We did see one little piece of gold already, but is there more? And again, I'm pretty confident I'm losing lots of gold. Oh, there's three. One, two, three, four already. <laughs> that's a good sign. So one right there. One right there, one right there, one right there. Five, six, and seven. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this gold pan. It's really awkward, unconventional, and pretty sharp, heavy, and unconventional, and heavy and sharp. But we are finding gold with it, which is pretty cool. And I like how it does float. I mean, regular pans float too, but this one's better because it's bigger. Something I really, really wanna do is get a gold pan big enough that I can float in entirely. Maybe one day. Maybe one day really soon, but we'll see. So this is bedrock. This is also bedrock. So in between here, there's a crevice. And this is typically we're gonna find the creamiest of the creams of gold. I don't have a spoon, so I'm just gonna use my hands and try to fill up that pan a little bit. It's not a packed crevice, but it's still, it's still a crevice. What you're looking for is rocks that are stuck inside those crevices. Like that rock right there. Could be good. Oh, this is heavy. Bye. We'll see you later. Mine! So what do you think of the pen? I like it. It's, it's a little too big, in my opinion. <laughs> Not big enough. A little, a little sharp. Only Polly would think of something like this. When the material gets low like this, it's actually easier for one person to do it. So Bailey is just gonna make sure I'm safe in this last little bit Safety here. monitor. Okay. A little bit more material, and then we'll do the wash back. This is super annoying. <laughs> it's awesome, but it's just annoying. 
But I definitely want to have a bigger pan. That would be cool. Okay, good enough. Okay. Nothing yet. Still nothing. Oh. I see one guy right there. Actually a nice little flake, but let me get it more clean here. Right there. That's our biggest flake of the day so far. Nice. Oh, there's a little one underneath it too. Yay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is our best pan so far. And they're all gone. So about nine pieces of gold in here, not bad. And I've decided I'm gonna change the name from Shrek to the Grinch because it hurts your back and it makes me angry. So this is now the Grinch. What takes longer than the panning is recovering the gold. And this pan's so big it like has its own tide system in laws and rules and roads. So there's the gold that we found in this pan, which is really not tea bag at all. Quite a lot of pieces in there. I'm pretty sure I lost a little bit, but that's okay. This is my favorite little bit because it's the biggest piece that we found so far and his name is Jimmy. It was time to break for lunch and practice my cold water plunge, which I actually find really comfy. This is uncomfortable. Are you having any luck, sir? Not yet. No. I'm just detecting. You got a gold signal in there? Yep. <laughs> you should pan in that so you don't lose anything. <laughs> Loser! So this is the culprit to Bailey's signal that he got mail detecting. It's a little piece of wire with a bunch of friends joining it. This is his third piece of wire today. So not bad. Whenever you do find bits of metal in the river, that usually means that's an area where heavies are dropping, obviously. And you can find gold in those spots. So don't be discouraged if you're finding nails, Bailey. Check out this big piece of quartz right here. That's, that's pretty awesome. I should probably take this home and put it on my shelf. Yeet. It was time to really get moving to see if we could find something worth all the effort. And keep watching because eventually, yes. Bailey! All right, so I dug a little bit deeper here and I'm seeing way more packed material. So that's kind of what I dug up and put in that pan over there. This is our biggest pan so far. So let's pan this and see what we get. Uh, Bailey, I need your hand. When handling a gold pan this big, it's best if you use more than one person. Because we're not in the main flow of water, we're in a big puddle, it gets harder to see. So the slower we go, the better, I think. Let's go fast. You just stay there and make sure I'm safe, mate. Right Safety here. monitor. So we're gonna beat nine pieces of gold. Even nine and a half would be amazing. Okay, almost ready for the reveal. I haven't seen anything yet. Doesn't mean there's nothing there. More water. Oh yeah, this is the time consuming part. This might be our worst pan. I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. Flame. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> nice. Yay. That's nice. That's a nice little piece. Our first picker. Wow. And look, we have another, uh, yeah, that's another one right there. One right there. Yeah, so a couple of little micros in that guy. That's awesome. That's wicked. I was just about to give up on this pan, and then the very last second, a nice piece shows up. It just goes to show how heavy gold is. Where'd it go? At least we know it's in the pan. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And you mal detected it. There yeah, should, you should have heard that. I was just gonna say. Oh, look at that, look at that, see? A nice little accumulation of gold right there. There's five pieces right there. We did see a couple up there. But where is our chunky monkey? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Nice, mate. That is what I would call a picker. A picker is just a piece of gold that you can easily pick up. Not quite a nugget, but still super cool. Now it's the real time consuming part when you gotta go around with a snuffer bottle and try to suck up all the pieces of gold. And it makes it a little bit difficult now that the pan is starting to get scratched. I know gold is obviously a different color than the silver sheet metal, but uh, still. So while Paul takes 10 years to clean up the gold in that giant pan. Hello? 
I decided to move a couple boulders out of the way here, flop them off to the side. You know the drill. Gonna detect this area pretty good and we're gonna follow this channel. Okay, I'm gonna try this with the chest mount. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> dippy dippy. Shaky shaky. More dippy dippy. No. 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 Yes. So this pan isn't as big as the other pans I was doing because I'm doing this alone and I can only do maybe three shovelfuls, if that. <clears throat> oh wow, look at that. Perfect. We got a piece of gold right at the edge there. I just about lost that. So now I'm gonna do the wash back because, bec because yeah, you know. I've got two snuffer bottles. One to show you what's in each pan and one to show you how much gold we got at the end of the day. <laughs> so wash back with one hand here. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna move them along over there. See, that was a picker, a little picker because I can pick them up. Okay, it's a good and bad thing that I saw that piece of gold. It's bad because that kind of proves that we were losing gold because how easy it was to almost lose that piece. But it's good because it means there's lots of gold here. And anytime I want to recover any of the gold that dropped in here, potentially, I could just come back and snipe it. I think overall that's two goods and zero bads. Okay, so you stay there, Mr. Candy. Let's see if there's more. Yes, already. <laughs> one right there, and another one right there. And one right there, actually. Oh man, I love this spot. Oh, that's so exciting, oh, right there. <laughs> oh man. I'm just super happy that we were finding gold today. And this spot is super consistent, as you saw if you've already saw or haven't saw my last video. Hi Banking, you should check it out! So I just spent 12 hours sucking up all the gold that I found in that pan. I'm the captain now. Let's show you what was in that one. Again, wasn't that big of a pan this time, so we're not going to see as much gold. There you go, about five pieces right there and one piece right there, so six pieces. Now we suck it up with our main snuffer. Mission successful. Sorry, I forgot to talk. Let's do one more pan. Now there's a lot of techniques you can do to move boulders, big rocks that are on bedrock or just stuck in the ground. You can use shovels, you can use crowbars or whatever, but a technique I like to use is just to ask it. I mean, you literally just ask the rock to move and nine times out of 10, it'll move. Hey, can you move please? Nine times out of ten. There we go. That's a long one. It's a boy! Yes, all this stuff. Oh, it's wet. Into my testing, but this is the good stuff. Let's put this in the pan, baby. So this pan, we're gonna have to go slow. Because it might be a bigger pan anyway, and there could be more gold in it, so we'll see. Alright, so this is the material we have so far. That is our biggest pan so far. And also, look at this. It goes down there, and there's still a bit of packed rock down there. So it just drops. And what gets me a little bit nervous is that I got a target. I got a weird siren target down there, and my phone is about to die. It's okay if my phone dies because we still have that GoPro, but I want to use my phone for if we do find a piece of gold because this is just higher quality. But our target sounds like it's in here. I don't see much of a crevice. There's a little bit of a crevice. I'm gonna scratch this out just a little bit. Put all that in the pan. So I ran the detector in here again. Didn't hear the signal. So it's probably in here, but I can't really detect this either because this is metal. It's gonna set the detector off. But Bailey kindly volunteered to carry this to the river. So go ahead. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think it weighs? Probably 40 pounds. 40 pounds, wow. It's not even a full pan yet. I'm not looking forward to doing this pan. My back already hurts just thinking about it. Now for the longest journey a gold pan has ever been on. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Before any great undertaking, it's always bestest to stretch. Okay, our last pan of the day. Better be something in here. So this is our biggest pan of the day. Oh, I just saw some shine on that corner. Keep your eye on that corner, Bailey. Yeah. 
the top right, you'll see gold. I just saw. Wait, do you see that? Oh yeah. How many lots. how many pieces are there? Two, three. Three? Can you get a close up? Oh yeah, look at that. There's some gold in that corner there. We just saw it. Yeah, I'm gonna go really slow. Man, this is difficult. <laughs> this pan needs a life jacket. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I didn't even. Wow. Nice. That was in the bed. That was probably our target. Nice. That is a nice little nugget. <gasps> yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, bigger the pan, bigger the gold. <laughs> the more gold you find. Actually, can you hold on to that? I'll lose that. That is wicked. That's probably the signal that we were getting. That makes me want to do a lot more pans in there. But again, I own this claim. I can come back anytime. We might do one more, maybe. <laughs> My back is sore. That's really good gold. There could actually be more. That is a killer nugget. Not a picker. It's definitely a nugget. I don't know if it weighs a gram or not, but either way, that's a nice, nice piece of gold. Okay, I'm gonna go a lot slower now. Look at that. Look at that corner. Look at that corner. Holy. Oh, we, is that another big piece? Or is that just a whole bunch of little guys? Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Wow. Got a little honey hole. That's a cool spot. Underneath that rock, that's, that's in the bedrock. I could suck that up, but we're gonna wait. Come on, baby. Let's see another nugget. I did not expect that. That is freaking sweet. Oh, you can. I'm gonna lose it. I just saw a piece. Maybe we should, yeah, let's just do the reveal now. Okay, so this is the reveal. Again, this is going to be very slow. Oh, there's another shiny piece right here. Oh, oh another. wow. Not as big, but that's still a picker. Beautiful. Man, that is cool. Oops, that was a bit much. Yeah, I'm seeing gold everywhere. One right there, one right there, one up here. Any more nuggets? No more big nuggets, but still. Okay, lots of fine gold in here. Perfect. I'm gonna organize all the stuff and then I get my phone and do the close up. So this is what we found in that pan. That is really exceptional. I am very happy with that nugget there. We know we're on a really good spot and it is probably worth continuing. But honestly, it's gonna take too long to get enough material in this pan to do another pan. So Bailey and I are probably gonna come back tomorrow or the, in a week or so. If you wanna see us come back here with this big pan, let us know in the comments. So here's the gold that we found today. I knew we would find some good gold in this spot, but I was not expecting any nuggets. I mean, pick are technically nuggets and these three pieces I'm just gonna say are little nuggets. Now stay tuned till the end of the video because Bailey ended up finding a couple more special pieces right when we ended the video. Let's weigh it all up starting with the small bits. 400 ounces. 0.24 grams so not too bad. Now let's weigh our little nuggets here. Number one. 0.20 and our biggest nugget of the day. 0.66 grams. So all together, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be about a gram. 1.10 grams. So that's about 150 bucks if you include the nugget value. Not bad for panning. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you did like this big pan video, just wait till what I got coming up because you're gonna love what I have planned. Also, Bailey here was a huge help in today's video. So if you wanna see other gold prospecting videos and even another series called Collecting Cut, which I really enjoy from his channel, I recommend you go visit his channel, see his videos and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support and until the next one yeet oh that was that wasn't mine i gotta get that <laughs> it was supposed to be funny huh? yeet. so we already wrapped up the video bailey turned on the detector to go into here <laughs> this is not a target <laughs> we have another target so quickly before this phone dies let's see if we can find it we can't find this stupid piece for sure it has to be gold though. I don't know where you, you see it? Oh. Here, we're gonna, it's probably gonna be way down in there. Is, is that it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's another little nugget. The other side looks rusty, so I kind of threw me off for Oh a my goodness. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. It's been sitting there for a long Here, time. Here, let's rinse it off. <laughs> I can't even see my screen. 5% battery. Oh, look at that piece. That is beautiful. Okay. 
Thank you for watching. And he just pulled out another one. Now my phone's about to die.